Welcome now what I say welcome back to my channel. I am Serene and today is my birthday. Today is my 30th birthday. And <sighs> the big three zero. <laughs> and yo, it's actually so nice. Henrik has been perfect. My sister in law came to visit. My sister, we just came back from dinner. So we had a really great time and I was like, mm, I've done my makeup. <laughs> we are filming tonight. So we'll start with the baby mitts, of course, because everyone is dying to know what baby Hansen is. And um, some people are guessing, some people are guessing right, some people are guessing wrong. Obviously it's only 50% chance, like it could only be a boy or a girl. Uh, but we're not telling anyone until after the baby shower and the baby shower is this weekend. And then obviously you guys aren't going to know until baby is here. So yeah, unless you follow me on Instagram or you are invited to the baby shower, then obviously you won't know. But for the YouTube family, you guys will find out after baby's here. That's so gross. <laughs> okay, so I've just kind of Googled. I'm using my laptop. I've just kind of Googled like a random website that kind of gives like um different things that kind of help or is supposed to help predict a baby's gender and i'm just gonna run through it and i'm literally gonna keep a tally of um i'm gonna keep a tally of boy and girl and then we're gonna see what we arrive at based on these assumptions so we'll start with sleep position and it says pay attention to your sleep position at night if you prefer sleeping on your left side you're supposed to be having a boy right side the, this old wife tales says that you are <coughs> a pregnant with a girl so guys i genuinely prefer sleeping on my right side at the moment but i prefer sleeping on my belly so that's just me but in pregnancy i do prefer to sleep on my right side and based on that apparently that's a point for the girl um then it says if you have an upset stomach it says although it's unclear why some research might support the myth that if you're extreme if you experience extreme morning sickness you're having a girl for example in a 2021 study of 4320 pregnancies these carrying female fetuses reportedly, those carrying female fetuses report, reported a significantly higher frequency of nausea during the first trimester than those who were pregnant with males. I had zero morning sickness, zero nausea. So that is a point for the boy. Then it says soft or dry hands. As the old wife tales goes, you might have a boy if your hands are dry during pregnancy. But on the other hand, soft hands are mythically linked with girls. Let me tell you how Henrik now calls me crusty. My skin is so freaking dry. And I cannot, I don't know what to do to combat it. My hands, my feet, my skin, so dry. So that's another point for the boy. Because I am definitely having to lotion my skin over and over and over again food cravings according to lore your favorite pregnancy foods may indicate your baby's sex for example do your pregnancy cravings involve potato chips pretzels and popcorn or are you more likely to desire for to have desire for ice cream chocolate and candy if it's sweets you crave that is associated with having a girl while salty cravings are said to be a sign of a boy, citrus cravings have also been associated with girls. Now, this one is a bit different because I can't stand anything sweet at the moment. I probably maybe a month and a half ago is when I've gotten back into being able to eat cakes or anything like that. And ice creams eventually came back as well. But I do not like anything sweet. It's all things salty, meat, cheeses, um, jalapenos, salty and spicy. That's my love at the moment. Although I do like citrus stuff, so I prefer something sour over something sweet. So um, based on the frequency that I would have these things, I would say that is another point for the boy. <laughs> so yeah, the girl's definitely not winning. 
Are pregnancy hormones making your skin break out? Oh, this one is about acne. If so, the old wife tale says you might be expecting a girl. However, the reality is that many people have acne during pregnancy, no matter their baby sex. Now, if we go based on old wife's tale, my skin has been doing. While my feet and my hands have been crusty rusty, my face has been doing amazingly well. No acne at all. So that is another point for the boys. <laughs> The girls are definitely losing at the moment. Graceful or clumsy pregnancy. If you feel as though you're gliding through the day, rumor has it you're having a girl. Stumbling around, uh, stumbling around just might be a sign that you're having a boy. Now, I don't know if I've been clumsy. Babes, have I been clum clumsy? No. But I don't think I've been graceful either but i have a bit clumsy i fell once <laughs> in the bedroom it was an interesting fall because it happened in slow motion but um to say <laughs> that i've been clumsy i wouldn't want to say that i've been clumsy um so it's a point for the girls i guess point for the girls face weight gain if your face gets fuller during pregnancy a girl might be on the way that said everyone experiences weight distribution differently so it might have more to do with your body than your baby's sex also if you experience sudden puffiness in your face talk to a healthcare provider <laughs> as it might be a sign of preeclampsia okay so i have gotten no weight gain in my face actually i feel like in the beginning of pregnancy, I had a fatter face. My face has pretty much slimmed down. And um, when my mom-in-law was here in July, she said my face slimmed down in comparison to when I met her anyways. And that's what I recognize. My face has gotten much slimmer. And I also haven't gained any weight in my pregnancy. So another point for the boys. Mood changes. Mood swings are common during pregnancy. Legend says that if you're constantly switching between happiness and sadness and anger and every other emotion in between you might be expected to have a goal to join the family henrik how has my temperament been, been pretty i cry over some things but not enough to make it seem like i'm emotionally unstable you know <laughs> not that saying that if you're crying during pregnancy, you're emotionally, you're emotionally unstable. But I haven't been emotional about anything. Like, yeah, I've been pretty fine. So that's another point for the boys. High or low pregnant belly. As it turns out, old wife tales for pregnant belly is also exist. They say if you're carrying the boy, baby low on your stomach, a boy might be in your future. If it's high, you're supposedly having a girl. Y'all, <laughs> everyone that's predicting that uh, I'm having a boy have predicted I'm having a boy based on where my stomach is. It is very low. It has been low from the beginning. And um, yeah, it's just been very low. Like it's very much down at the bottom. And that's another point for the boys. The girls are definitely losing, 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 losing this round because how can the boys be getting everything pendulum test the myth about gender prediction might seem strange but it's all in good faith dangle a chain with the pendulum or charm or ring over your belly if it swings back and forth the myth says you're having a boy if it swings in a circle you might be having a girl babe i need a string can you take the string off of that bottle please let's see let's dangle this oh there's a ribbon in front of you babe there oh. okay let's let's try and dangle it dangle the ring over my belly and we see what happens okay let me go back help me push this <laughs> okay right it could bow it down a bit It's supposed to go, if it swings back and forth, the meat says you're having a boy. If it swings in a circle, you're having a girl. This is back and forth, isn't it? 
<laughs> you let or I see your hand moving. <laughs> Stop. No, just let it do itself. This is definitely not a circle. So, guys, Mitt says we're having another boy. That's what the Mitt says. <laughs> So Mitch says that we're having a boy. Let me fix this back. We then have the hand display. Show me your hands. Hold your hands. Oh, show me your hands. Show me your hands. Hold your hands out as normal as you normally would in response to this question. Palms up means you're having a girl while hands down. Could indicate a boy well you guys can see my palm so i guess that's a girl so we're having a girl how you carry your weight tune into how you're carrying your pregnancy weight those who carry their baby in front by expected boy well ex well weight spaced more evenly around the middle could indicate a girl oddly science has found a connection between gestational weight gain and fetal sex I found those who gained more weight were statistically more likely to give birth to a boy. Well, like I just told you guys, I haven't gained any weight. So based on that study, I'm having a girl. So another point for the girl. Eating garlic. Some say you can guess your baby's sex by eating garlic. Who knew? If the smell seeps out of your pores, rumors say you're having a boy. If there's no scent, it's a girl. Well, we put garlic in everything. And I haven't smelled like garlic, so I guess we're having a girl. But like, how much garlic am I supposed to eat to know whether or not it's gonna seep through my pores? If you shower every day, I don't know. But based on that, we're having a girl. Holding the key, grab the nearest key or car key. Did you pick it up around the end? Yeah, we're not doing that because I'm not getting up. <laughs> I'm not getting up. It's fine. Even and odd numbers. As the old tale goes, if your age and year of conception are both even numbers or both odd numbers, a girl is on the way. One even, one odd indicates a boy is on the way. So I conceived when I was 29 and I conceived in the year, what year is this? 2022? <laughs> And that's an odd and an even number. So basically, I am having a boy. Yeah. Baby's heartbeat. I think this is a little one. This is one is slightly more difficult. But I think the baby's heartbeat. Okay. I think I remember the two, I, the two times that they've counted the baby's heartbeat. I know what that is. So it says, listen to your baby's heartbeat. You're supposedly pregnant if you're with a girl if you detect more than 100 beats per minute hearing less than 150 beats per minute is a boy both times it's been lower than 150 beats per minute the first time i think it was 139 and the other time was 140 something so we're having a boy another point for the boys the stress test According to old wife tales for gender prediction, a child tends to be the same sex as the parent who is less stressed at the time of conception. Y'all, at the time of conception, Henrik and I was having fun. I don't know. At all. Pregnancy dreams. The old wife tale might be a little surprising if you dream about having a girl while pregnant. You might wind up having a boy and vice versa. Now, y'all, let me tell you, I dreamt about having a boy. I dreamt about naming that boy. Henrik, see what I mean by he's always making noise when I'm filming? Yeah. <laughs> I dreamt about having a boy, naming the boy. So if the old wife tales are correct, that means I am having a girl. So that is another point for the girls. Breast size. Take a good look at your tatas. It doesn't say tatas, but you know, tatas sound better. If your right breast is larger than your left, it could mean you're growing a girl. If your left breast is larger than the than the right, it could be a boy. My boobs are large, so you know it's one of the two. I am not about to measure it. I have not had to change a bra or my my bra size or like I bought some extenders, but I haven't had to use them yet. So um yeah. I just have the same regular regular boobs I had before. 
that was says the bottom line at the end of the day it might be fun to try and get your baby sex um but none of them hold scientific weight obviously this video was for comedic entertainment because we already know henrik and i know and um or my sister knows the grandparents knows and my sister Ella knows what we're having. We already know, but for comedic and fun videos, we've done, or I have done the gender myth test and assumption with you. And the next video that comes after this one will tell you exactly what baby Hansen is. And let's see if you're surprised. Are we having a boy or are we having a girl? Thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye.